Hello, welcome back to another exciting Unity tutorial with me, Romy Fauzi. In this video, we are going to continue our bold introduction. And with our scene here, we are going to implement a jump feature for the circle game object. So now if we select the circle game object, and then if we open the flow graph, we have this flow graph from our last video. In order to create a jump mechanic, we need to add a new unit. And this will be an input get button down so we want to use the get button down and for the button name we can just type jump and this will grab the spacebar from the input settings and i'm going to move our vector here below and now i'm going to create a new variable to define the jump speed so let's just create a new variable and let's just call this jump speed and for the type let's set this to float and I'm going to set the value to 6. And here I'm going to drag the variable so it's accessible in our graph here. And basically, for our y velocity here, we want to switch between these two values. Our previous y velocity or our jump speed. So in order to do that, we can use the, the select unit. And with the select unit, basically, it asks for a boolean. And for the value when it's true and for the value when it's false so here for the select i'm going to connect the boolean output from our get button down here to the boolean input of the select unit and when it's true we want to pass this jump speed value and when it's false then we want to switch to the y velocity value here and then we want to pass this value to the y component of our vector q unit here and now we need to connect the input get button unit so i'm going to connect this flow here and then i'm going to connect the next flow to the vector q unit here okay and now let's press play and give it a try here as you can see if i press spacebar i can jump it's working already but there is one issue here we can jump infinitely. So we need to create some sort of detection. Whenever we are on the ground, then we want to be able to jump. But if the player is on air, then we want to prevent from jumping when spacebar is pressed. So in order to do that, we need to use the collision 2D stay event and also collision exit 2D event. But it will be a mess if we put all of the event here. So I'm going to introduce you guys with super unit. And super unit is basically a flow graph or a macro script that can be act as a unit in our graph here. So here under the flow and then under the super unit folder, I'm going to create a new bold flow macro. And I'm going to call this ground detection. And now when we select this ground detection here, it opens the flow graph and it's still empty. Basically, we need to add a new event. So I'm going to browse the event here. And under the physics 2D, I'm going to add the collision stay 2D. And then I'm going to also add another event, which is the collision exit 2D. And here, we need to add an input and an output unit. So let's just add that. I'm going to type input. And make sure we pick the in nesting input here and also add the output unit. And basically, we want to output the result to this output node here. And we want to pass any value that is needed for the unit inside this ground detection. And here, if we select the input node, we can add a value input. So let's just press the plus sign. And we can define the key. I'm going to rename this key to tag. And for the type, I'm going to set this to string. And we want to enable the has default value. And you'll see in a second. And for the output value, I'm going to add also a value output. And I'm going to call this grounded. And for the type, I'm going to set this to a boolean. So basically, we want to compare the tag of the collider whenever we enter the collision stay to the event here. So let's just drag the collider here and then search for the compare tag and pick the game object compare tag here. 
And then we want to connect also the flow from the collision state to the event to the game object compare tag here. And for the tag, we want to connect this input tag here. And the next unit that we want to add is the select unit here under the control. We want to select the select on flow here. So basically, we want to switch between this flow here and we can connect the flow from the game object compare tag here to the first slot and we want to connect the second slot here with the collision exit to the event so let's just connect this and this will switch the output value based on the flow selected so here we can pass the boolean value from our compare tag here to the slot a so whenever this event is running and the flow gets executed it will output the a value but if this flow is executed, meaning that if the player are exiting from other game object collision, then this flow will run and it will pass the value that we've put in the B slot here. So let's just drag the B slot here and I'm going to add a boolean literal and I'm going to set this to false. So just uncheck this. If we check this, then this will be true. And if we uncheck this, this will be false. And for the A value, it's going to be true because when this runs and the tag is correct then the value will be true and now we want to connect the output value to the grounded output here and we don't need to connect the output flow here okay so now our ground detection is ready we can just go back to the player here and under the flow here we want to use the ground detection macro script here so we can just drag this and then put in our graph and it will become a super unit and let me just explain for a second here so here under the input i purposely enable the has default value here so whenever we are outside of the graph and we are using the super unit we can type the tag directly in the super unit block here we don't need to add a string literal and now for the tag we want to create a new tag so let's just select the ground object and I'm going to add a new tag and I'm going to call this ground and then select the object again and I'm going to assign the tag ground to this ground game object and now basically we need to set a variable using this value here we cannot connect this directly to this uh, area here because uh, this super unit consists of event itself which is a collision state to the event and on collision exit to the event and here this uh, part is belong to the update event so it will throw an error so in order to do this we need to add a new variable so i'm going to create a new variable and we can just call this grounded and for the variable let's set this to boolean and we can drag the variable so we can use this in the graph and here for the output we want to set a variable so I'm going to use the set variable and let's just use this set graph variable and for the name we can just pick the grounded here and we need to connect the flow here but here in our super unit we don't have a flow output so we need to modify this so let's just double click the super unit here and for the output let's just add a control output and let's just call this exit and now we have a flow here so we can connect the select flow to this exit flow here and now if we go back to the player graph on our super unit we have a flow an exit flow here so let's just connect this to the flow here now we've set the variable grounded based on the ground detection macro script we can just use this get variable grounded to be used together with the input get button down boolean value here so let's just drag this and i'm going to use the logic and i'm going to use the n logic so for the n both of the booleans needs to be true to produce a true value so i'm going to reorder this and now let's connect the output from the n unit here and for the input i'm going to put the jump to the b slot here so now basically whenever we are grounded and whenever player press jump then we will be able to jump but if we are on air then the grounded will be false 
now let's save our scene and let's give it a try so i'm going to take a note on our grounded variable here if we press play oh sorry i forgot to put the tag name here so let's just type the tag name uh, of the ground here to be ground okay and let's give it a try again okay now you can see here when we are grounded the grounded value is true and you can see also here on the graph it's true the output but if we press jump it's false and now you see we cannot jump infinitely on the air so yeah that will be all for the jump and super unit introduction this feature is very powerful so i recommend to encapsulate your functions into a super unit and expose variables also flow whenever needed and you can use this to make a very powerful unit thanks a lot for watching and if you like this video hit that like button and do subscribe